Hey guys, Ogis and Jack coming from all Lost Ark. And today I'm talking to you guys about the sea bounties, where you get them, how you get them, and what they actually give you and where the person is to turn them in. So let's hop straight into it now, shall we? Now the sea bounty exchange guy is Vatius the Humpback Whale, and you can find him on Pato and the other ship, the whatever it's called, the Cradle of the Sea, I believe. Yeah, Cradle of the Sea, it's up there. We are on the Pato one of, yeah, they both got the same one. So just come on over, speak to him. And we can see the whole list of everything there is to get. And the good, the most important thing for this for me would be to get 34 to actually get this wealth rune right over here, since we use that on so many classes. And then the masterpiece is pretty cool as well. The first mate title is another thing I would go after. And then there is just tons and tons of silver. There's like three or four million on this page alone. And then on this second page, once you get all 46, I believe 46 is the max right now, but they will add more later. And you get 10 million silver from that alone. So there's quite a couple of million silver. There's a couple thousand there. And there's a million, 400,000, 400,000. There's a million there. There's 2 million. So a lot of silver involved. But the main thing I would aim for is 34 to get this wealth run right over here. Because 99% of you will probably need this for your classes. Just depending on what you play. But a lot of you will need this. It's very sought after. Especially on like Shadow Hunter and sorceress and who else builds up gauge but those are the main two that i can think of that i'm using it for anyway let's speak about how you actually get all those things oh and just before that there is the tier of the abyss as well there's three of these to obtain and each of those gives you your choice of a relic crew member that you can go buy in mist island go check out my sailing videos i have quite a few up describing the best crews for the best ships that i reckon there is out there go check them out on my channel there's quite a few and you can see where you can use the tier of the abyss but very useful now let's move on how to actually get these. So I do have a max roll guide for you guys covering this all. I will leave it in the description for you just to show you how to get them. There's a little introduction if you want to read it. But pretty much you get these maps and then you right click them, you open them up. They're just like the, the normal maps that you would do after doing a cascade. We've got to look for the thing except the only difference is now you've got to look for the location in the ocean. And then once you find it, you'll sail up and you'll find this little telescope. You just flick it and then that's it. You get it discovered so it counts as one point of your sea bounty. And if we scroll down, there's all the rewards again, so you can look through them. But yeah, like I said, 34 would be the highest one to aim for right now. I mean, obviously you want to complete it eventually, but 34 is like the... It's going to take you a while to get this, so might as well put a goal in mind. And let's see how we get all of these. So the quest, we get the very first one from doing a quest. It kind of unlocks us. It's a world quest. So before you're even 50, or maybe you are 50 already, you should have unlocked it. Una's task, there's one lock behind Una's task. Luckily, only one so far. Uh, there it is over there just go check that Una starts got in your Una's tasks and then sailing and islands we do have these adventure islands we do have all kinds of islands down the list but these are all the sea gates and by now you guys should not do the sea gates you have to do the sailing co-op so if you go in game and you look at your alert over here just look for a sailing co-op uh they're normally near the end of the day scroll down a bit there we go sailing car burn rohondo and they should have for pretty much every continent so you do those and then at the end of that you'll get a key for all these different sea gates as you can see there's one there's one over there there's one there there and there there's quite a few sea gates i think there's about five or six of them but yeah you do sailing cops get the keys and then go do the sea gates and that's what they mean by these sea gates and they all have a chance it's, luckily there's not too many locked behind that there's only four different maps and then moving on we do have illusion isle lullaby isle those are both events as well you gotta go do on keep track in your this thing over here the event tracker whatever you want to call it set that up and then what else we got we got boss ing so this is also event ones alica is the big chicken and all of these over here these are rng so you have to just be lucky and just do them every day you can do some of these multiple times a day you just got to check your alert timer make sure you're just doing them at least once a day so you can get some of that rngs is going and then Phantom Wing Islands, again RNG, and then Yawn Field Boss. This one will probably be the hardest out of these because your own Field Boss you can only do once a day. But uh, yeah, and that also just depends if it's up that day. Because quite often we'll skip a day or two without any Field Bosses spawning. You'll see in your compass is a good way to check if Field Bosses are spawning today. If you go in game and you go to your Porkins compass, Field Boss one time daily. Okay, so we've got the Field Boss spawning today, but there's no Ghost Ship and there's no Chaos Gate today. So every day that changes around the compass is going to check that and then moving on we got adventure terms there's quite a few from adventure terms and i would actually say these are pretty easy because adventure term is really easy if you just sit down and do it 
I have a really good uh, video on my channel. I'll leave a link down below for you guys and have a card up on screen for you somewhere. But the uh, adventure terms is quite easy. If you follow a guide and it's really, really easy to sit there. You can do each continent in two to three hours tops. And you can at least get to the 50, 60, 70, 80% you can get really quickly. Because uh, the last 10 to 20% of adventure terms is mostly report and stuff like that. So getting up to 80% I reckon is pretty easy to do. Moving on, we got report as well. These are just go look for those people there. They show you all the places. Where's the terror? Glacier Isle. They give you the name of everybody. Just go pull those out. A lot of these are quite easy. Like the Glacier Isle one. She's pretty easy to get up. Peta one, I believe she's easy as well. And Neth on Hope Island is really easy. She doesn't have much at all. Just go on through these and get those report ones. And then collectibles. Once you hit 60 island tokens and 85, you will get two as well. So just go do some island tokens. Those will probably take quite a while because getting a lot of island tokens, especially 85, is going to take you a long time. But yeah, if you do have, go turn them in and get yourself some, some maps. Traveling merchant adventures. I would actually say these are the easiest to get because all you need is the pirate coins. And you should have quite a few of the pirate coin boxes. They can just take and go and transfer. Buy them over there, Arthentine, North Burn, Isotera, Annika, Shushai, and Yawn. Just sail on over and go buy them with the respective coins that they need. And then the Stronghold one is another RNG one because you need please to spawn, obviously, and then they're really expensive. So if you haven't been doing your Stronghold stuff, you want to start doing your Stronghold stuff. My next video that I'm actually trying to work on now is a Stronghold guide for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And if you find this video helpful and you want to see that one, please hit the sub, it helps me so much. And it just keeps you stay tuned for all my Lost Ark stuff coming up. So we do have a Stronghold video in the making. But yeah, these are the Stronghold ones. Just go and buy those and see when the vendors spawn. So easiest ones, I would say, first of all, would be these. The Traveling Merchant Ships. Because all they cost is Pirate Coins. Or not Pirate Coins, but the different types of coins. Sea Coins. You can go get those. And then you'll get those as well by doing the, the Co-op Sea Bounties to get these for up here. And then obviously we'll be sailing every day doing these as well. So those and those all tie in together. And the same with the merchants. And then the collection one. That one probably take about the longest report. Depending on which ones there are. Adventure term. Really easy. You can sit down and do those as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it guys. So good luck hunting your sea bounties. I hope you find them all. And you get yourself that nice wealth rune. If you like this video. Please drop a like. And a subscribe. It helps me so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Orgy saying out. Run free. And dive into the sky Hear the wind Cry